So basically the city of Tarot kicked us out. Hey there, my name is Katie, and if you've never met me before, I am happy to make your acquaintance. And here's a brief history of me and my company, Royalty Soaps. I started making soap when I was 16 years old and launched Royalty Soaps, the business, on September 15th of 2011. So it started as a hobby in my parents' shed slash my bedroom, sorta, and then I moved it to a nice little building about a mile away from their house on a kind elderly woman's property. She was so nice to let me stay there rent free. And then Royalty Soaps moved back to my parents' land. My dad built from the ground up Butterfly Cottage. This is gonna be a transition house for their kids between childhood and adulthood so they could feel some freedom before they move out. I didn't actually end up staying there long, however, because I'm married, the love of my life, Caleb, and we moved 45 minutes west, so about five minutes from DFW Airport, and Royalty Soaps lived comfortably um, in our spare bedroom for about a year. A year later, we moved from our apartment to our first rent house in South Dallas. We had a lot more space there for the business to spread out and another year later we decided to move closer to my parents for coming full circle right back to Terrell and we bought a home with a 500 square foot outbuilding that my dad and my brother Elisha completely renovated by themselves in six weeks. And what started out as being just me grew to be me, my husband Caleb, my brother Simeon, my brother Kenny, my sister Shelly, my mom who works as customer service, my dad who works as finances and also clearly on construction, and our really good friends Garrett and Mallory who I have known since they were literally babies. For reference, here's a really cute picture of Garrett and Simeon when they were teeny tiny, so cute. So if you weren't counting, what started off as just me is now nine people. And with all of this growth, we were looking to expand the original building in my backyard. So now you're all caught up. There is the history of royalty soaps and we can get into the current day royalty soaps. Like I said, we were looking to expand. Here is the outside of the original studio. And my dad moved this storage building from right here so that we could build the new extension right in this corner. And since I'm inside Terrell City Limits, the concrete guy who was gonna pour our foundation told us, of course, that we have to get approval from the city. We finally scheduled a time for them to have a city official come and look at our project in the backyard. And on July 9th, I was sitting at my kitchen table and my brother Kenny said, uh, Katie, why are the cops outside? I looked out the window and said, I really wish that were the cops, but that's the fire marshal. Both the fire marshal and the city official went into my backyard. They required my dad to show them the soap studio. They had a big long conversation and before leaving, they scheduled another meeting with my dad for the very next day. Obviously, we scheduled the city official to come, but why was the fire marshal here? That's the real tea. The fire marshal was there because one of our neighbors filed an official odor complaint. Yes, that's right an odor complaint. Apparently the occasional smell of lavender and strawberries was disconcerting and a public nuisance. So the city had to come check us out. My dad came back from the meeting and it wasn't great news as many of y'all can probably guess. <laughs> According to the city of Terrell, royalty soaps doesn't fit into what would be considered cottage industry because of the chemicals that we use. In Terrell, you can have an entire beauty shop with aerosols and flammables in your bag backyard. In Terrell, you can have a bakery with large industrial size ovens in your backyard. But you cannot make soap in your backyard. We have 30 days to vacate. The city also told us we couldn't move and manufacture in a retail space, so the only place for us to go was an industrial facility. And while the industrial locations available to rent in Terrell are very tempting for an artisan soap shop, we were still going to be in city limits, we were still going to be heavily monitored, and... It was really expensive. So we had to get outside of city limits. We really needed a place that was gonna be inexpensive and we had 30 days to do it. So let's hop into the timeline. I left for VidCon the day we got the eviction notice. So for the first four days, my ability to troubleshoot the situation was very limited. Also emotionally, I was a bit messed up. But right now I feel pretty numb. 
Lucky for me, I'm not a one-woman show anymore, so the team leapt into action immediately. While I was gone, my dad created a building blueprint and a budget. My mom created a shipping and fulfillment schedule with Simeon. And over the phone on day two at VidCon, my parents pitched me the plan. They suggested we build an addition onto Butterfly Cottage because, you guessed it, my parents' house is outside of city limits. Caleb and I were over the moon. We thanked my parents for their generosity, like, Seriously, my parents are so flippin' cool. And we flew back home really exhausted from all the work we had done over the last four days in LA and anticipating all the work we were about to do here at home. The first two weeks are kind of a blur and I don't have a lot of footage because I was really busy shooting stuff for secret projects that you guys will find out about later and doing a lot of things that just couldn't be put off. They put the concrete beams in, they placed the wood flooring down, added insulation into the flooring and did all of those little odd jobs that you have to do when building an addition onto a house. On day 12, it was time to start framing. This is when a wonky deck starts to really look like a building. And it took a solid week with all hands on deck, no pun intended, to get the walls and the roof up, the electricity pulled, and the pipes put in. This is where I actually had some time to start filming a little bit more. So basically, they have the walls on, on the outside, they have the door in, they have the windows in, and all the electric has been pulled on the inside and today they're putting in the insulation everything is completely framed up and then from this line on the floor all the way to this back wall that already has the insulation is gonna be the curing room so that's gonna be a completely separate room this is where the two windows used to be on the exterior of the original cottage and eventually a door will go here to connect the bathroom and the bottom cottage area I'll take you guys to the inside of the cottage and basically my two grown brothers have given up their life and their entire downstairs area is just a trash. complete trash heap <laughs> just trash there is the man that has been working his buns off every single day this is Elisha Paul I don't know if he's been formally introduced to the channel so he is number five He's right after Shelly. So it's me and then Kenny, Simeon, Shelly, and then Elisha. Oh yeah. Yeah. Day 17 was my 25th birthday. And before all this eviction stuff started happening, I had planned to throw myself a pretty decent sized party. I ended up throwing that idea to the wind, of course. But my mom and my best friend Caroline weren't having it and told me, oh no girl, we are throwing you a party. Now I knew they were throwing me a party, but I didn't know exactly how they were throwing me a party. And I was, well, you'll see.
it was a night I will truly never forget. And I feel like everybody was kind of relieved to just have a few hours that we could all just kick back, enjoy some good food, enjoy our friends and our family members, and just breathe for a quick second. The next day, everybody was back at it. And before we knew it, it was time for the August Soap Collection release. Today is August 2nd. Tomorrow is the August Soap release for all of the drink months. Whew, daddy's about to cut the door out, so let's go watch. What a marvelous 20 minute display of <laughs> strength and fortitude. <laughs> well, I don't know about all that. There it is. <laughs> There's the rest of it. Most of us were starting to get a little bit tired. We had been working for 25 days and it was the very last release in our studio. I specifically got a little emotional. So today's the day that I'm filming some intros and outros and honestly, it's just been really, really hard. But I just don't want it all away from me. I want those items here. Some of the items, I know this is so sentimental. Please just bear with me. Some of the items that I have, I've had since I was like just starting, like certain aprons and things. And like, I just don't want those to be away from me. It's just, it's just sad. But we pressed on. The release went pretty great. And while everyone was shipping, my mom, my dad, and Elisha were doing basically everything else over at my parents' house. In preparation, of course, for day 30 through 32 when we would actually be moving. The door is now completely cut out. Then when you come inside, the walls have been painted. They're doing another coat. Hi, Ma. Hi, Penny. Hello. Doing another coat of paint. She's using her very favorite Valspar. Swiss, Swiss Mocha. Mocha. Yes, Swiss Mocha, which is such a nice color. It's on the outside of the original place. And then here's all the windows. They look super nice. They have the flooring all picked out and ready to go. And that's gonna be put in a little later. And they still have to put in this final board up here at the top. So this is kind of what it looks like right now. And basically everything in here is being used to finish up the details, like the caulking or putting on the trim around the edges of the floor. And then these nice countertops that my dad made have already been painted. And then they're gonna get sealed tonight so that they're ready to go tomorrow. This flooring is so beautiful. We got it from Home Depot. It is life proof vinyl planking and it is so beautiful it absolutely looks like real wood we've got the ac going in this room and we have more shelves that are being put up we're going to have three rows right there there's going to be some on this wall as well and there's some on this wall here's the transition between the two rooms because this area which is old butterfly cottage is gonna be turned into a place for everyone to kinda of chill out, hang out. It's gonna have some office space in here, but it's also just gonna be a place where people can eat lunch and stuff like that. What's also really great is that there's a full bathroom. There wasn't a full bathroom with our last studio. There wasn't a bathroom at all, so people were having to come into mine and Caleb's house all the time to go to the bathroom, so we're really grateful for this. By day 32, we had more friends over coming to help us put internal doors in. My brother Elijah and his best friend, with my dad's oversight, built the curing racks all by themselves. This is one like super impressed big sister right here. There was stuff to be painted. People were caulking around the border of the room. It was a very, very productive Sunday and we met our deadline. Yesterday was day 34. So Kenny and my dad were up on the roof getting all the shingles put on while the rest of the team was organizing and setting up the inside of the workshop and also trying to get sort of used to it since that's where they're gonna be working from now on. So there's the entire eviction story from day one to today, day 35. There's still a lot to do on the exterior of the building, but the interior is totally workable at this point and we're all catching our breath a little bit. A big thank you to everyone who gave us grace, sent thoughts and prayers our way, and helped us move. We greatly appreciate you. And to the Royal Court, you guys 
or why we do what we do. I know some of you have been here from the very early days and have essentially watched me grow up on this platform. And having all of you cheer us on makes us strive towards excellence and wake up every single morning with a passion and a purpose. And to the neighbor who filed a formal odor complaint, I'm actually grateful for you too. Because of you, Kenny and I get to move our filming room slash creative room out of my spare bedroom and into the old school studio, which is way more spacious and way more convenient. The majority of my family has a faster commute to work. A ton of money was saved because we built a pier and beam extension instead of a concrete slab. And we grew way stronger as a company and a family. So thanks again, neighbor. I'll be sure to send you a free bar of soap. Thanks to everyone who watched today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will be seeing you soon right here on the Royalty Soaps YouTube channel. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>